Hello and welcome back to this YouTube channel. I am Preeti. In this today's video tutorial, I am going to explain how we can create a header component or banner in Power Apps. Also, we will discuss how we can edit and delete a specific header component in Power Apps. So, first of all, what is Power Apps header component? A Power Apps header component is also called as a banner that we can reuse in any screen or form or any page. Okay. So, you can see uh, like at the top of the screen or form, you can see a title that is called as a banner. Here you can see Power Apps header component or banner. This is called as header component or uh, banner. Whenever I am using Power Apps, like uh, before what I was doing, uh, uh, like the same banner I was uh, creating or recreating every time uh, in the Power Apps application. So like it was, I'm, I'm literally facing difficulties like whenever I'm copy pasting the same banner to another screen or I'm recreating that banner each and every time. So to overcome it, what I have done, I searched in many uh, posts or article and uh, I went through that there is a component in Power Apps component. So I created a component and by using that component, we can create a header component and that header component we can use in each and every skin. This banner area, we can use any type of image, any type of user information, any type of button or logo. Okay. So the purpose of using a header component is to create a consistent look and feel across different screen in the application. Let's begin uh, how we can uh, create a header component in Power Apps. So this is a Power Apps uh, Canvas application where I wanted to create a header component. And also you can see there are various screens, screen one and screen two. I want to use that banner in those, in these two screens, okay? So first of all, go to this component. You can see here, there will be components in the tree view, under the tree view section. So click on that and uh, after that, click on new component. In the new component, first of all, just uh, give rename it like uh, before that it will be component one. You can rename it like uh, uh, you can give any type of name, header banner or app banner something. And then um, after that, what you need to do, you here you can see in the properties pen there will be a display uh, pen. Okay, here you can resize the height. The height will be the default height will be 640. You just need to uh, make it 80. Okay. So once you will click on 80, you can see this is the, uh, this looks like a header size. Okay. So for that purpose, we, we need to change the height. The next thing we need to go to the advanced property and the down there will be width property. In this width property, what we need to do, we need to uh, write as app dot width you can see here width so here it will give the width of that particular application so now it will appear or it will look like a proper banner next what we need to do we need to add or you need to add whatever uh, the things you required for banner suppose i will add a title so i will click on insert and then text level here i i will uh, show something like here i will write it service ticket okay and then uh, here you can uh, make uh, the text alignment and uh, you can uh, big, you can make the font size as big and you can uh, give the font weight is semi bold or something and then suppose you want to insert an image okay and uh, where you want to uh, so the current user uh, image or profile so for that you just take the image control and uh, in, uh, here in the image property you just need to write a code just user you can see here user function and then image that's it so, but here you can see the image is appearing with square basis suppose you want to make it circular so for that what you need to do, select the image and uh, here you can see the border radius. Just make it to 25. Okay. So, for like uh, if you want to make more, then you can make it 35. 
So here you can see uh, this is circular basis or if you want to uh, do more circular basis then you can change your uh, I mean you can change the border radius according to your needs okay and then uh, suppose you want to uh, insert a icon suppose I will I will insert as uh, icon as the uh, bake icon right so bake arrow so I will put a bake arrow over here and uh, here I will write a code bake function so bake it will go to the uh, back screen always okay and suppose here you want to uh, add uh, the color property field property so for that you can write as the so here also you can make as the uh, text font should be white and uh, here also you can make the font uh, sizes white and uh, that's it okay so uh, i will just make a little bit big that the font size so this is a banner this is a proper banner that i have already created you can uh, you can add uh, any other control that you need as per your requirement so the next thing is how i can add this banner inside the uh, i mean inside each screen okay suppose in the screen one you want to add this banner for that what you need to do go to the insert property there will be a custom uh, option just uh, expand that and just click on this app banner so here you can see it will appear uh, like this suppose in the screen two also if you want to uh, add the same banner so for that just go to here and just uh, expand the custom and once you click on that app banner you can see over here like this so this is how we can create a header component or banner in power apps second how we can edit that component inside this application so for that suppose uh, edit means suppose you want uh, you want to add some more controls over here or you want to change do some changes over here so for that how you can do it okay so here suppose i want to add user full name i want to display user full name over here for that go to the insert uh, again and uh, text level just uh, click on text level here i want to display the full name of that particular current user for that just in the text property just write a code user dot full name okay so it is not uh, showing because the color is matching so for that i will just uh, provide a different color you can see here uh, it is displaying the current user name full name okay and you can make it semi bold okay and if you want then you can provide a uh, little bit bigger so this is how we can edit the power ups component now like once you will change this banner it will reflect uh, like throughout the screen if you will go to the screen automatically you need no need to do anything it will appear automatically so in the screen two it is appearing automatically if you go to the screen one also the changes will reflect throughout the application okay so in this way we can edit the power apps uh, header component the next thing is how we can delete a specific header component inside the power apps application so this is so simple go to the component and here you can see more option just click on it once you click on delete it will delete so this is how we can create a power apps uh, header component how we can delete the, uh, how we can edit the banner and also how we can uh, delete that power apps header component inside the power apps application so to know more details about this uh, this uh, header component go to visit that spguides.com we can you can see here i have written a full article how to create a header component power apps just go through it uh, this article link i will provide the video description below okay just uh, visit this site if you really like this video kindly subscribe to this youtube channel for more videos like this thank you and have a nice day